guys, Renee and Casey here with Bargainers Thrift, and we're here to showcase this box Renee's had longer than he's had me. I'm embarrassed to say it's true, but before we get to that, <laughs> we surpassed 100,000, 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a party. That's super awesome. High five, Tatiana. High five behind the camera. Woo. High five, high five. So Tatiana's behind the camera. So that's pretty awesome. We're gonna have a special video for that. So yeah, so this video. This is the title. At the end of the video, we're going to have two bonus boxes that come from Dan and Laura that day. We spent $35,000. These $35,000? Yeah, remember we bought all the model kits and cars. And oh, okay. okay. We spent a lot. I, I thought you were talking about something that you bought most recently without me knowing, like an <laughs> online auction. What I don't remember. It? it was somewhere between thirty dollars and 35000 I feel like it was thirty five. That's videos on our channel. You can go back. Um, they are earlier videos, so they're not as good. But um, if I had it now, I would get like 50 videos out of that purchase. Yeah, but these are two buy. boxes that have been sitting... When did we buy this? Four years ago? No, Five years? longer than that. It hasn't been longer than that. Well, they've been sitting for a long time. So we'll see what's in here. Five or six years. I don't know. Time's been flying. But guys, this is the thing. So this box, okay? I used to be in a casino chip business, and I used to do eBay. And this is a box I always held for some reason. I don't even know. It's been moved around closets. You know, she always makes fun of me storing stuff for a long time. I've been storing this box for 20 years. 20 years? It's about 20 years because we've been together for 17, right? Something like that. I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, well, it's good. You lose track, you know? Uh, that's my line. <laughs> Aww. Pay me 100 bucks. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so, um, anyway, that was so awkward, but okay. Uh, really awkward. That was awkward, yeah. Was it awkward? Yeah. Uh, it's just... It's because Renee's German. Not as awkward as this. Gotta love it. <laughs> got the cameras. Yeah, <laughs> got well, the cameras. that got awkward. All right. So, yeah, so I had this, like, way before. I remember having this box in my closet in the original, in the original apartment I had before the house, when, when I met you, when the house I had in Vegas. Wow. So you may have One had time, this yeah. for, like, 22 or I'm, I'm guessing, years. like, 20 years. So, so let's see what's in there. I used to be big in the casino business. And this is just, and this might not even be great stuff. I don't know, but it's just like when hey, you. Hey, fun fact. Did you guys know that Renee published a book? Ooh, yes. Yeah. Chip Star Casino Chip Price Guide, thirty four ninety five. Yeah. I spent like six months of my life working on it, and then they collect. So nobody has ever done a book. That's why I left the casino chip business. Like nobody's ever done a book on limited edition casino chips, and then people were complaining that it's thirty five bucks. Like I lost money. I was just trying to do it for a hobby, and after that, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm in the wrong hobby. We used to have the book. I still have some. We still have it. Yeah, I have some. So uh, it's in a box somewhere in a closet, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe there's one in here. I don't know. So we're going to go through. I'm, I'm expecting there to be a lot of casino stuff, but this is probably a pretty good box. So right on top, Electrolux Sprayer. What does that mean? So Electrolux is an, is an old company, but look, this is glass. Wow, some kind it's of glass. Vintage. Am I supposed to be... Well, well, why, they don't make glass anymore? Shampoo, or? wax off. Um, you know, I think it's for an old Electrolux vacuum. But it's just a cool okay. piece. I mean, this is 60s or earlier. Wow. So I put it aside. I'll bet you it's 20 bucks on eBay. I'm going to look it up. If you guys know what it is, If it's come. 20 bucks and you've been holding it for 20 years. Well, and I tell you stories too. Like some of the stuff we get a lot. So one thing we used to sell a lot of is casino chips. So here's a whole bag. You mean dice. Dice, yes. Dice. dice. So these are showboat. Just the blue logo. So I used to sell these for like 20 bucks a pair. I don't know what they're worth now. I mean, the casino chip hobby kind of went down. But these are probably from the 70s or 60s, latest 80. And even at 10 bucks a pair, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Can nine. I roll them? It's like 100 bucks in there. Or like, do yeah, it's kind of, These are really good condition. I'm like, next to poker. So when All you guys, the dice is my favorite. When you guys buy storage units, look for old casino chips. I sold casino dice, I mean, chips and dice, obviously. But I sold dice for $2,000 a pair. When Here's, I was little in your office, I'd go and sit in your chair and play like theater, and i put the dice in my mouth. Ooh. Why is there one that's yellow? Does that mean something different than red? I've never seen yellow so, dice. Yeah, so this they're different colors. So, I mean, what, later on they made them as collectibles. So, remember, let's see what casino. This doesn't even have a... Oh, no, it does. It just says D389. Oh, this is from the Dunes. And wow. see, like, with dice, because they have a lot of glue and um, chemicals in them, they will actually crystallize after a while. But I love the dice with this bull's target type of look. Okay. I also saw a pair here. Um, let's see if this is the one. This is an early gold nugget. This is 50s. 
Wow. And there should be all the matching pairs in here. Here's a blue one. Oh, this is, is a really old. Is the Nugget still even around? Or? Isn't it? I think it got sold, but it was around last time I checked, but I'm not sure. Here's a really early Dunes, and also see the smaller size. And also see how it gets, like, inverted. That's also the same with the chemicals. It's, like, sucking it in. But this is even earlier. Here's Aladdin. Here's a Downtown Vegas. Let's see what this is. Silver Palace. Here's another Aladdin with a really nice logo. Let me see. And you're talking about the original Aladdin, not yeah. the one that's out there. But, oh, no, it's not Aladdin. It's called uh, Hard Rock now. No, Aladdin was, like, on the other side. I think I, I don't remember. There's so many casinos. Oh. Horseshoe. Like I said, I haven't been active in the hobby for, like, probably 20 years. When I met Casey, I finally totally left the hobby. Here's the Sands. So you want to find, so this is just with the S, I think that's 70s. If you find the Sands with the Hourglass girl, so it's a cowgirl and with an Hourglass, early logos, their chips, their dives, their napkins, everything crazy money. Hopefully I got one of those Sans napkins in here. We found like ten thousand off. We paid like a hundred bucks and sold them for nine ninety nine each. And you know, it's like that, that was a great deal. I used to have a store inside the Tropicana too a long time ago. Yeah, that's a fun fact about Renee that you guys didn't know. Check out this logo showboat with the nice showboat casino. I think that used to be like on Boulder Highway, wasn't it? At the end? I don't know. There's so many casinos. I can't hey, remember. Hey, wasn't that over there by the Riviera? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Vegas is always changing. Every time you go, you're like, what's the new casino? Conservatively, that's 200 bucks in there. Then these, I bought these a long time ago, and I don't know if they're worth anything now, but this is the Desert and Hotel Slides, and they used to sell these in gift shops, Panavu. One time on a yard sale, I bought like hundreds of these for like nothing. And I used to sell them on eBay like $9.99 a roll. Okay, napkins, guys. People pay good for napkins, like the Aladdin. If I were to put this on eBay right now, it'd be a minimum of 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. Depends how many are out there. There's like, you know, it's probably like 10 of them in here. Wow, Let's we're see. our casino knowledge going on. Oh, well, casino stuff is so much money. I mean, it, it really went down, but some of the high-end stuff is still good. This is just a Winston Ashtray. Rax, this used to be full of chips. So when I collected casino, I collected everything. So this is from the Fairmont Hotels. Bali, Are those bars of soap? Yeah, bars Get of soap. Get out of town. Do people really collect that? They used to. I don't know if they do now. It's Circus Circus because it has the old logos. Are you a collector or a hoarder? Because you just pulled out a bag of soap that you collected <laughs> for 20 years. Hey, you, 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 know, you know what your dad is? What? You know how you go to private school? No. You know how you always get what you want? No. You know how you eat good? Because I'm a money-making machine. So if people want to buy soap, guess what? We supply them soap. They want to buy horse manure, you're shoveling it. So how much for those soaps then? I'm kind of curious. I, I have to check. I don't know. I mean, you guys go, go on eBay, type in casino soap. I mean, I don't yeah, think it's that crazy know. anymore. Is it still collectible? So we got some asteroids coming. But let's see what this tape is about. Beta cam. Beta. I wonder if that's an interview I did when I was young. I'm going to put this aside because I used to do a lot. Every decade of my life, I did something on television. So this might be something, but it's, I don't know. Maybe not. That's so cool. It could just be a tape because, like, I used to get a lot of these and, like, people would sell them for nothing, but then people would buy them because they're, you know, they need beta cam. Old digital stuff is good. Okay, we got some letters from Risley Hotel Yosemite National Park. 1952. Oh, so these are flyers and old artworks. I don't know if this stuff is old pictures. That's kind of cool from Yosemite, so somebody sent this out. I don't know why I have it in this box. I wonder if the trees are real there, still there. Oh, what's this? So push that silver button on the side. 46. Red. 20 bucks in red, 20 bucks in red. 46 black. That's uh, red, I win. It didn't even get one. Yeah, that's when. Oh, there. I got it. Black 17. You can't change it around. <laughs> cheating. To our friends' holiday greetings. Oh, check this out. Umpak Dairy Products. What year is it? Oh, check out the phone number. That's another thing. If you find old casino dice, like if you see these, this is a two-digit phone number. Get out of town. Two-digit? Yep, 38. I didn't even know that was a thing. December 1947 or 1948-47. So it's so a 1948 calendar. Two digit, that's crazy. Two digit phone. I've, I've never seen two digit either. I've seen like four. Uh, some interesting stuff in here. Uh, Monterey, Monterey Oil Company annual report 1958. So if you guys had it, we can find out if we made any money. I wonder if that's still around. Peppermill Casino 10. Oh, the peppermill. Does it smell like peppermints inside? <laughs> No, that's just the name of the casino. The Pepper Mill has really fun tropical drinks and they're really big glasses. This is just like a little... 
<laughs> just says toe, just like a little film. Maybe, what do you guys think? I have like all these old movie reels. Should we hook up a projector here and just play some old reels? Yeah. That would be cool, right? Well, you're all into vintage now. You probably like it. So we have family ones. We have commercial ones. We have all kinds of good stuff. Our sound is still great. Okay, cool. Because I just pulled my... So yeah, so 20 years. Oh, this is cool. Hell Dorado Day. So this was a big deal in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada, 1935. 1935. Wow. 90 years ago? 90, yeah, it 85? only cost six cents to mail a letter back then. So, so what, is it? what is this? Dear little sweetheart. Dear Aww. little sweetheart, I was surely pleased to get such a nice letter from you and how your handwriting has improved. You certainly have wonderful teacher. Auntie Barbara was down to see me today. She read oh. your letter. She too was surprised, and she also she also had something to say that I know you will like to hear. It's crazy punctuation. 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 God's not easy not speaking English. <laughs> she should read. <laughs> <laughs> she said you had two of the finest brothers any girl ever had. You concluded by saying you had no boyfriend but me. Huh. Now don't try to kid Uncle Jim. All petty, <laughs> all pretty girls have a boyfriends. Yeah. They can't help it. That sounds creepy. That is a little creepy. He sounds a little creepy, Uncle Jim. Hey, let us know if, if you want to read the whole letter. I don't know, it's like all typed up, but 1930. So this, it's like to me, stuff like this is cool. Like you have to read the letter. Somebody wrote this 35 years ago. But the reason I probably kept it is for the logo, 1935, pre-World War II. That's some cool stuff. I mean, I wasn't going to show all this paper, but Airborne Class Book, Class Number One, Forty Second and Forty Sixth Companies, Fort Benning, Georgia. Parachute card. What year is this? So I went to jump school. Okay, this is after World War Two. Ooh, That's... jump school. That sounds like fun. Parachuting. Air Airborne. Oh, like everybody's got their helmet and their photograph. Yeah. Show the. Hmm? Show them. You're like showing yourself. Ooh, that's it's a, cool a yearbook picture. for jump school. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay, find which one's yours. <laughs> that looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. This says Buffalo Lens Company. And this is just like a little. Don't touch it that much because it's. It's okay. Granny cleaned her toenails with that. Practical Air Navigation Use Department of Commerce, 1940. So this is World War II. These are just books that teach you how to do stuff with the military. This is really Metrology for pilots, civil pilot training manual, all 1940. Yeah, some cool stuff. See, I keep good stuff. The vault instruction booklet. Oh, I think that's, I just bought that somehow. I must have fallen in there. <laughs> well, I yeah, to, it looks pretty new. I had the box on my desk at one time because I'm like, oh, yeah, we should film this. This might be interesting. But I don't remember what's in here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I see silver down there. <laughs> nice. Ooh, what's that? So oh. these are for IBM Selectrix typewriters. And a lot of these different fonts, like one of these can be 40, 50 bucks last time I checked. Kinda these obviously had four at one time. You just got to pop the other side out and then make it a ring. Well, back in the, no, back in the day, so you had your typewriter. And if you want to change font, you have to change this. Wow. And it could be as low as 10 bucks. Now, I really don't know what they are these days anymore. I have like somewhere I got a box with a lot of these. If I never sold it. Infamous last words. Little cleaning Goodyear made in the USA. For your typewriter. <laughs> That's like 1930s. Yeah, thank you for not touching my hair. And then here we got Sheffield. That's a nice pen. You want to look for these usually if they're gold tipped, but I can't read. My eyesight is going these days. Yeah, don't ask me. Getting old. I think it says 14K, but I'm not sure, but still a nice little fountain pen. See, Nana, when we they used to... They actually would make it 14K? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's messed up on the inside, I think, or the thing. But when we used to get to school, we had to put, like, um, ink cartridges in this. And, guys, I know some people... When did you say... go to school? You didn't have ballpoint pens back then? No. In Germany, everybody had fountain pens. We used fountain pens, and we had the ink rechargers. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, fun fact, I just learned about Renee. I've known her for how long, and I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, That's, like, so old school. People didn't do that... But we didn't waste pens, and it was better quality writing utensils. Were pencils something back then? Yeah, we're pencils too, number two. Yeah. By the way, sometimes people say, oh my God, he's sweating so much. It is hot up here. We're on the second level. We haven't been here in like a week. It's hot. We just turned on the air conditioning for a minute, but we cannot run it while we film. Otherwise, you just hear... Well, I found a nice box! 
All right, let's see. Another bag of dice. What are some? Oh, the, oh, that's in the sand napkins in there. Ah. Oh, these are good too. So this was a great deal. One time we went to in the yard, so this must have been my share. Who's this we stuff? Are you okay. talking about ex-girlfriends or what's this we stuff? Uh, there have been a lot of women in my life. Oh, you know, God. you guys always make fun of how lucky she is, but I don't know, somehow, God bless me, I always dated pretty girls. Like, same thing with Casey. They take one look at me, and you were like, oh, uh -huh. I gotta have the big boy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm just joking. I always met nice women. How come all of a sudden there's like a ringing in my ear? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just denial kicking in. Okay, so <laughs> I remember this deal. So, I used to have a store in the Tropicana with three partners, and we used to share everything. And one time we went to a yard sale, and this guy had like, 2,000 bear uh, pairs of Binion Horseshoe Casino dice. And um, we paid like 100 bucks. Wow, we sold the cheap. We sold the cheapest pair in our store. It was a casino uh, gambling museum type of store. We sold the cheapest pair for $99.99 with some pairs up to 150 bucks. And per I think... two dice? For two dice, yeah. Wow. So I think what this... That was a steal. Yeah, well, we made so much money in that deal. Yeah. So I think what's in this bag right here, so there was all these different types throughout the years from Binion's Horseshoe. So let's see really quick. And what we did, we each got a pair for our collection of each type. And then I think I just backed this and I never sold it. I never sold it because it was a conflict of interest. So you see, this is one pair, one type. You want to match them up? Uh, it's another pair. So this is a really old one right here. So this was um, with the bigger logo. Some of these are just different colors. You guys get the idea. Somebody's having fun. Yeah, and it was like little differences or like fades. Here's like with yellow, they're faded away now. See, here's with the horseshoe in black. See, all these are different logos. If you look really close, pause the video. I think this is the best pair right here. Yeah, is the horseshoe still there? Um, it's not. I don't think it's called. It's not Binion's anymore. It just might be the horseshoe now. Hey, you want to bag this back up? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like that bag right there, that's probably at least a couple hundred bucks. I mean, I'm not up up to date with the prices now. So here's another one. So this would have been my cut too. Well, let's see what this letter is first. That's some cool stuff in there. Man, it's really been 20 years. So that was just my share, and I never sold it because it was a conflict of interest because our business sold it, so I just put it away. Oh, so that's probably what this film is. It's, it says it's 1968 Air Force, Air Force Academy um, graduation. Graduate, and here's the breakdown with the film, so that's kind of cool. 68, so that's like Vietnam still, right? It's older than me. <laughs> Vest in California, Sephi. These are tickets, rail, railroad tickets, Western Pacific. And the booklet. So you want to check those people collect these too. Yeah. And then the rarer the lines, the more money, obviously. So just so you know, like people collect paper. Paper is worth a lot of money. I wonder if some of this stuff is what I got at Nevada Mint when we had that store. Okay, so here, these are the ones I talked about. Check these out. These are Sands, a place in the sun. These are, oh, here's the Hourglass Girl logo I told you guys about. If you see this on okay. chips and dice, good money. Um, these should be from the 60s, maybe 70s at the latest. But they, they they had to stop using the Hourglass logo. Oh, no, no, no. Different. They used to use a Cactus logo. It's actually Sans Chips with Cactus logo, but it doesn't it had a problem, so they went to Hourglass. So these are 60s, maybe 70s, but most likely 60s. We had, like, probably 10... 10,000 of these. And you sold them for $10 a pop? 10 bucks a pop. And we paid we paid nothing for them, like two or 300. I can't remember. It was like nothing. And I think we each just took a bag like this. So that's probably like 100 of them in here. Wow. So I'll probably put these on eBay for nine ninety nine. I I don't know. I don't know if they ever got out, if they got destroyed. I don't know. Oh, there's some books in here too. Oh, there might be a chip store down there. Okay, casino chip. Yeah, I see that. Bonanza Club, 25 cents. Bonanza Club. Yep. And see, those are um, HCE mold. I believe that's what they were called. I don't know what this particular one is worth, but at least 20 bucks. And then this would be probably for Monte Carlo, like the what European gaming tokens. This is Chip. Oh, wow. You got to say it with passion. Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, good night rest at Gateway Modern Courts, Washington. So these are like not Vegas related, but I, I probably just kept them because I liked them because they were these metal ones. New Orleans. Cool. All this stuff is so interesting. Alternator. So these are probably all from the 40s. Wow. Solar Winds Restaurant Candlelight Sample number 581. Oh, this is a sample. Or well, maybe for samples. I, I don't know where I get this stuff. Then we, of course, had to collect Sands Shoehorn. Shoe what is that? Shoehorn. It's from to Sands. put your shoe, your foot. So we used to go to conventions and sell these for like 2 or $3, and we had like thousands of them. 
Right, is it to put your foot in or pull your foot out? Put it in. in. So you put that at the end and you can slide it easy. Fist. Why can't you just use your finger? Because that's understand. how you break a finger. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know why it's in a box like this, but let's see in a second. Fitzgerald, casino at Arena. So, I mean, I don't know what they're worth now, but minimum, all these should be 10 bucks, and a lot of these will be 20 and 30. Thunderbird Hotel, I mean, that used to be 40, 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. This one is wrapped is up. Is that where the Mandela Bay is, where the Thunderbird, or? <sighs> it used to be in the right-hand side. It was a smaller place. I don't, I, I can't picture the little strip right now. It's been so long where it really placed hotels, but it was on the strip. Harris Casino Hotel. This is like an 80s. Okay, check this out. This is a set, so they come in a set of six. Actually, a stick is five, isn't it? Or maybe it's six. But these are from the Pepper Mill. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is Pepper. But it's just a restaurant. Did it used to be a casino? I don't well, know. Well, there used to be a Pepper Mill Reno. So this is Reno. Pepper Mill Reno. Oh, okay. And look, it's these are really nice Vegas, condition. Okay. And I think the dice used to be having numbers on them, too. I don't see them on here. I think newer dice, they, they will have a matching number on them. Okay, I'm going to leave this up so I know what it is. Pepper Mill. Set a stick. A stick. Ooh, another pepper mill tin. And. Ah, room keys. Yeah, so room key. Room keys became a big collectible when I was in the hobby. Oh, I'm gonna talk about this in a second. Okay, so we were, so room keys were starting to become really popular. So people were collecting room keys and slot player cards, especially the high end ones. And these are really early ones. And people started collecting these because. Um, Chips and casino collectibles started getting so I don't really see nothing expensive here. Rampart. We stayed our honeymoon there. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that was Rampart, so when we were there with Summerlin Resort. No, I thought it was Ram it was Rampart. Star Trek experience. So the the reason they, they uh, started collecting these because you were able to get a lot of these horseshoe. You you were able to get a lot of these and they were cheap. And then I saw these, these are really hard to find. So these are in the old days. These are from the MGM Grand Hotel, but this is the one that burned down. Wow. These are actual metal room keys with the logos. How old is that? It's got to be. I mean, when did they? Probably at least 80s. I don't know. I don't know. L like I said, down. like it's been 20 years since I sold Casino, so I'm so updated with everything. And I got a little case of Alzheimer. So we'll try to do this a little bit quicker. The bonus boxes, by the way, will probably be a second video. Oh, here, this is cool. So it's international silver, but it's from the Dunes. What do you mean by international silver? I don't it, know it, it's just in silver company. It's just plated. Oh, okay. What's the Dunes? Dunes Hotel and Casino. Oh. So, so we'll do some of these quick. Harris, Lake Tahoe, Boomtown, that, that's new. This is a good one, El Rancho Vegas. I used to sell these for 40. Cal Neva Reno. By the way, those price tags you see on there, I probably bought them at yard sales or antique shops. Yeah, and they're pre-barcode. Yeah, oh, way pre. This is the MGM, that's the one I burned down. The resort at Sumlin, that's where we stayed on honeymoon. Oh, this bag is money. We'll look at this in a second. Um, Border Town Casino Restaurant? I don't think that's there anymore. You're so funny. You're like all proud that you remember it. I'm like, Harris. Oh, yeah, I thought it was called Rampart. <laughs> Harris? I'm just a proud person, okay? <laughs> oh, I think my price. No, that's somebody else's. Uh, Caesar's Palace. These are newer. Bally's. So people used to buy stuff like this, Main Street Station. It used to sell for like 10 bucks a pair. Oh yeah, that's downtown. Um, Riviera Lighthouse, that's gone. Yeah. John Asuga's Nugget in Reno. What's this? Chubb. I don't know what that is. MGM Grand. Another bag of dice down here. Fitzgerald Souvenir Dice, Comstock Hotel, Palace Station. What are these small ones? Las Vegas, these one of these. You read that through here? Palace Station, really oh. old Palace Station ones. I was like, Bally's? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking me to read? I can't see. We're World getting... Series of Poker. Oh, 1993. I play poker. Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas Hilton. These ashtrays are okay, these ranches are good. So I probably bought them for 25 or selling these for 50. Oh, Rancho is probably what Mandalay Bay is now. That's no, El Rancho was with Stratospheres now. Oh. <laughs> that one I know. Comstock. I think I saw the ranch, El Rancho get imploded. I saw some casino Big thing that was becoming really popular was, uh, this is a roulette chip. 
this is a relation from the horseshoe, so table, like, you know, for table one, and people would start trying to get, because you couldn't buy these, so you had to swipe them, so you play roulette and bet a bunch and try to always get, like, two or three in your pocket, <laughs> which is the casino card, you always got mad because you play, like, 25 cents roulette, and you buy chips that he was paying 75 cents for, but it became a bit collectible. That really died down. The hard rock roulette chips were really big, and now you can buy them for, like, nothing. Strip cartridge drop into barrel washable blue chafers. But that's just an old pen. Nice. See, like we do like our own tattoos right here, so. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of trust. Let me try to stop me. Yeah. MTM token. The oh. Last Frontier. Is that Ronald? Yeah, it's with Ronald Reagan. Show that picture. Like yeah, that. that's not, where's Ronald Reagan? Right in the middle. <gasps> right in the middle. Look at how young he is. Ooh, he's handsome. Mm -hmm. My Uncle Hank always looked like Ronald Reagan. Nice and handsome. Look at this old, old matchbook from the Gold Nugget downtown. That's from the 50s. Wow, look at that, guys. Here's one of the price guides. That you wrote? I did not write this one. My friend actually wrote We used to be friends, but then he got weird. Um, old chips from the Elks Club, 10 centers. That was just, you know... This is the Wilson City, Newport, um, Kentucky. So these are all illegal casino chips, like so underground. Oh, Let me illegal see right here. casino chips? Eastern Warm Springs Memphis Championship. So yeah, so these are chips with like underground, like mafia clubs, gang related clubs. So I used, I, I used to have a big collect. Actually, I still might have to collect in a box somewhere because I, I like I started <laughs> liking those. Oh, there's my book, American Riverboats. So another friend of mine wrote this. So these are all casino chips and riverboats. And then this is the book I wrote. Oh, that's different than the one we have at home. This might be a prototype copy because it's not... Uh, actually, you know what? I think yeah, because the one you wrote is like thicker. It's bigger and the no, it's, it's black. No, it's, it's, it's bond better and it's not oversized like this. This might be an early one. But anyway. Well, show everybody. The Chip Star. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you get the name from. And see like all these chips. So back then, doing like all these color things was a big, big deal. Nobody really did it like that. And then we had every chip and how many were made and what the value is. And back then, most of these chips were like 10, 15 bucks. Hard Rock, these chips used to be crazy. You know, these were like 500 a set. Wow. Like 200 a set. Hard Rock was the biggest thing. I used to pay like 30, 40 people to go stand in line with me with the Hard Rock. No offense, but this kind of looks like a school project just a little <laughs> bit. Well, that's the prototype. Well, that was the prototype. So, but you know what? When you publish your own book, I'd be more than happy to take some hints. Silence. Crickets. Silence. I'm going to trap the mic like now. Like your forehead. Yeah. You know, I did this when I was like 17 or 18, by the way. Published. So I sold like 2,000 copies of you it. You were that young? Yeah. Thirty two ninety five. I wasn't a hobby. You I started sold seventeen copies. No, no I sold about two thousand copies for thirty-two bucks, so sixty-four thousand dollars. So, um, and back then, yeah. Com yeah, computers are not what computers are now. You know, so this is, um, you know, this is collectible casino dice. So this is a book that came out most at the same time, I think. Actually, it might be later. And remember, this was a smaller hobby, so we didn't put like you know, it's not like big publishers picked it up. Another casino. This came like way later. This was one of one of our friends in the hobby too. So this came out like probably five years after my book. Printing was already better. And you see here dice prices. Wow. You know, $151 Golden Gate. Let's see horseshoe real quick. Let me see. Oh yeah, because we have them. AFK Ha Yotka. That's the ABCs in German, I assume. Yeah. Okay, so. Which one do we have? Do you tell us. I don't know, I'm trying to think. We had a few of them here. Well, we had... Make sure to keep the camera on. Yeah. Um, I have these somewhere. Let me see. I feel like... Oh, no, this one right here. We had these. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had these. Okay, a 76 to 100. Nice. Then we have these, 11 bucks. We have these in the different colors, 11 to 20. So, doesn't I think Cappy Ricks? I had a pair of dice I sold for like two thousand. Was the only pair known? It, it, it from Cappy Ricks. I either had the dice, or I had the um, I had the asteroid. Here's another dice book from another guy. So three different dice books. 
Didn't you say there was some silver in there, or you were talking? Oh about yeah, this? no, we have some. Other... So here, this was a big find. Me, and my friend Steve Cutler at the time. There's another chip in there. It's I showed that one. Oh. So this is from the Bonanza Club. This was in North Las Vegas. Oh man, and I kept a dirty one. Shoot. And I was thinking the other day, this was such a cool find. This is one of my favorite chips I ever found because look how cool they look. So HCE mold. And then instead of just the stamps that you see inside the chips, these were called inlays. This is from the 1950s. And we found like six or seven racks of these. I don't remember exactly where we fit. It's been a long time. But I think it was like five or six hundred of these in the five dollar denomination. And we found maybe a hundred and twenty-five. And then we had six or seven in the hundreds. So... And, you know, back then in the hobby, people would make these finds and they would try to lie about how many they find. Because if you only find 17 of this, it's a $700 chip. Uh. You find five, 600, it's a $25 chip. So we told everybody, we showed pictures and we sold these two people for 25 bucks a piece. And at the convention, everybody came and it's like, just gut, 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 gut. One guy tried to buy them all in the corner of the market, but we didn't let them. But even though, because we did that, so one thing that was bad about the hobby is a lot of people would always try to accuse and jealousy and stuff. That's kind of why the hobby died. That's why I left it. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with all this. So here's different chips, I don't know. These are silver strikes right here. I used to have thousands of these at one time. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, these actually contain like, I think- uh, From you having them, though. 0. 0.70 of an ounce of silver. Don Laughlin's. So some of the chips in here. Bicycle Club. That's in LA. Park. Yeah, these are LA stuff. This looks like a silver. Frontier Hotel, Las Vegas, 1967. 67, wow. Frontier, oh yeah. And oh, it says sterling on that, so this is actual silver. It should be at least an ounce. Here's another. Oh, here's an Elvis token. Actually, I'm gonna put the silver and save. Aladdin. This is a really, this is pre World War II. Casino de Vici. Or, yeah, so this is, look how old this is. Did you say pre World War II? I'm pretty sure this is pre, yeah. Wow. Let's see what else we got here. Habes et Habes, Kratius Court. Caesar Magical Empire. Some kind of token. Oh, so another job I used to have is, um, I used to do a lot of stuff in my lifetime. I used to do consulting work for casinos, so I would help them to do chip programs and then handle distribution. So for the Palace Station, a good friend of mine, which I've been friends with him for years now. Actually, I've been friends with him longer than I know you, Todd Moyer. You know, oh, we do the meet and greets. So yeah. like, yeah, Todd, if you're watching, a shout out. So uh, one of our best projects was these Corvette chips. And then we had Corvettes for, through the different decades. And we had chips all the way from a dollar. This is the dollar one. And we had fives, tens, fifth, uh, five, no, ones. We did some two fifties, fives, twenty fives, and a hundreds. Yeah, sure, the other side. So like they, they the were. Palace Station. So yeah, we designed these and we did them. And then we did a lot of these and I would get a percentage. But so this chip would cost us like 77 cents to make and we sell it for 100 and collectors would buy everything that we get. <laughs> That's but, a huge market. Yeah, but then we also have like, so there's a thousand one. So we probably did 500 fives. Mm -hmm. You know, then we did like 100 hundreds or 120 fives and like probably 25 hundreds. And each chip only cost us 70 cents to make. And we would release like a chip a month. So this is getting boring. I'm me me memorizing, uh, me mesmerizing. You're mesmerized by the chips? Winner's circle. This, this is makes me want to go play oh, poker. Like <laughs> Can I have that one? Yeah, it's from the Fiesta. This is a no cash value chip, a tournament chip. So poker, here you go. I just like the color. Here, you want the matching white? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Don't you put that on eBay. Oh, here's one from the Dunes. Dunes Poker Room, 25 cents. Ooh. Bad condition, though. Here's the matching color oh, Fiesta. The poker set. So here, remember we talked about illegal chips earlier. Here's the great one. Thank you. So, so, uh, let me find you some holders. And that's how to hustle a man in less than thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's how somebody needs to ride home. <laughs> <laughs> so here, look, Vic. So I don't know what this place is. You know, I mean, this was some kind of back room illegal club, and I really like these because, like, you know, the old gangsters and mafias and stuff, and like all the stories. You know, this was like. That's what I gambled with. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Here, this is a decent one. I think Palace Club Reno. Here's another very old chip. $100 Casino de Vici. Some tokens. Yep, and we're going to call it a day. Anyway, guys, I thought we were going to do the two extra boxes, but this video is already so long. I hope you enjoyed it. If, if you guys like unboxings like these, let us know. What should I do? Like and subscribe. Yeah, and let us know if you want, like, if you like boxes, or if you just like it fast and go through stuff fast. But 
this box 20 years. I'm going to put it all back together and store it somewhere. And we'll go through this again in 20 years from now. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs>